Let's talk about bonding your mice. So bonding your mice just means introducing mice together who are strangers and encouraging them to become friends and eventually live together. Generally, male mice cannot live with other mice. And if they live with other male mice, they're going to kill each other. So I'm going to use my mice Pira and Peepaseek as an example. I filmed the bonding process with them. I recently did a video introducing you guys to Peepaseek and telling you guys her story and the story of the mouse I got with her named Pumpernickel who eventually sadly passed away. So I had Pira and Pira had already lived with other mice first in a pet store and then with my mouse Delphi but when Delphi passed away Pira was alone and became very depressed. So generally mice if you buy them together, like uh, they're from the same breeder, same litter, same enclosure in a pet store, they're usually okay with each other already. <laughs> That's Pumpernickel. He's your friend. Even if you bring, let's say, two mice home, like I, I brought Pumpernickel and Peepa Seek home, they were in the same enclosure but not from the same litter, I did a little bit of bonding with them. One of the handiest things I found was this litter box, funny enough. This is a cat box. I recommend something like this or just a regular bin. Just make sure the sides are high enough so the mice can't get out. The great thing about toilet paper rolls is there's two entrances so uh, nobody's getting cornered inside something and you can use them instead of using your hands to break up fights you can use them to kind of <laughs> break up the fights and I just left them in here for an hour now you want to sit over something like this and just watch them and I just let them kind of figure it out and then I would put them back into their tank If you're introducing them to a mouse you already have at home or a mouse from a different pet store, never ever ever just throw in stranger mice into another mouse's enclosure. Something that I found useful are these pet carriers. If you have some new mice, put them in here and then put the whole container with the lid on inside the other mouse's tank and they'll just get used to each other's smells and movements and noises and all that stuff. So just do that for short intervals, like I would say 10 minutes to half an hour. And then again, using this method with um, the new mice and the old mice, it's good to have food in there to see how they share food. And the thing with fights is not to panic when they happen. They can sound really bad because they typically squeak. Oh, goodness. Hey. My Peepa Seek is the biggest squeaker mouse I've ever met or owned. will kind of freak you out, especially if you're not used to it, you'll be terrified that they're like really hurting each other. Though Pira and Peep did a lot of fighting, they never actually hurt each other. No blood was ever drawn, nobody lost any toes or tails. If you see something like that happen, where you see blood, separate them immediately, and unfortunately at that point it may be very difficult for you to introduce them again. Bonding process can take a day for some people. Some bonding processes, like with Peep and Pira, they took a long time. They took a couple of months. So they lived separately in different tanks and then every day, once or twice a day, I would put them in here. So at first, we would see fights and the only way they would resolve is if I got involved. 
A great sign is if they have a little scuffle and they resolve it themselves in a few seconds. Oh, oh, oh. That one resolved itself, which is good. And then introducing them to a home. The best solution I found is first of all cleaning out the tank that or cage that you're going to use completely, take out all the old bedding and wash everything. And then I make it as bland as possible just for a few hours. So I just put down some other bedding and maybe a wheel and some food and uh, toilet paper tubes. And then slowly over the hours if you're feeling confident that nothing uh, really is happening and they're, they're doing fine, then start adding things like normal, add all their accessories. You may hear some squeaking at each other, you may see some chasing around, they tend to kind of nip each other on the back end. This is usually a sign of dominance. Oh wow, working something out. Oh, I spoke too soon. Hey, hey, hey. Just can't be simple, can it? It's normal to have some kind of pecking order with mice. Um, one of them is going to decide that they are the alpha. Usually that's the oldest and biggest. As if they're grooming themselves in the company of the other mice. That's great. That means they're okay with letting themselves be vulnerable um, in the presence of the other mice. And even better is when they groom each other. give up. Only time to give up is if the safety of your mice is an issue. I hope this was helpful and if it was please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're not already. It's free and it's easy and the button's right down there. Keep calm and stay shiny and I will see you in my next video. Bye!